Hi comrades, yours KVF. I think it is the right time to demand for the constitution of Yaiti Pay Commission because the DA crosses 50%. We are having every justification to appoint the next Pay Commission because even if it is going to be implemented from 1-1-2026, the two years process time is required for submission of memorandum, parusal and everything. Or otherwise we can demand why the 10 years period it should be implemented well in advance also. So anyhow, there is a clear justification for the formation of HPA Commission. In the parliament for the question number 532, it was replied in the Rajya Sabha on 25-7-2023 that there is no proposal for the constitution of 8th Central Pay Commission. The periodical revision without waiting for a long period of 10 years as per para 122 of the 7th CPC has not been considered and approved till so far. In another question, number 550 on the same day, it was replied that the increase in the DA is not the factor for formation of next pay commission. However, from 1st January 2024, the DA reached to the extent of 50%. Therefore, the demand for the formation of 8th pay commission should be pressurized by the unions, particularly the JCM staff side, very strongly and very effectively. The 3rd, 4th and 5th central pay commissions have recommended for constituting the permanent machinery for periodical wage revision. So the duration of 10 years is too long. It should be made permanent wage body is a must as per the previous recommendations of the 3rd, 4th and 5th Central Pay Commission recommendations. The 7th CPC has also recommended to review the pay matrix periodically without waiting for a long period for another pay commission. Pay commission will alone eliminate the disparity and anomalies in the pay structure prevailing to the cadre, nothing else. Even in the case of postal assistant, the enhancement of entry pay scale for the postal assistant, which is justified for level 6, has not been granted and it, it remains as level 4 because of the non-constitution of the pay commission. There are so many pay anomalies in all the departments, including the higher pay scale for the higher post, etc. And there is every justification to revise the perks, allowances, as well as other benefits for which the merger of 50% DA will be more suitable. Besides demanding setting up of 8th pay commission, the merger of DA up to 50% shall also be insisted. The central government employees were expecting that it would have been raised the, this demand before the general election. But unfortunately, this was not raised. But however, at least now, we should raise the demand very seriously for merger of 50% DA for all purposes, as well as the constitution of 8th pay commission, or at least implement the 7th CPC recommendation for forming the permanent wage body so that we can discuss the wage body for the improvement of our cadres. So this is my humble submission to the JCM staff side. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much, comrade. Meet again.